up on top of <clears throat> a mountain in Oregon. And we stopped. And I found some fresh strawberries, wild strawberries. All in these patches right here. Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. I'd like to show you around the Rogue River area while I tell you about a sighting report we received here. We are camping and hiking in Oregon along the Rogue River searching for Bigfoot because it's of the long history of plentiful Bigfoot sightings in this part of Oregon. James W. sent us his Bigfoot sighting report from an area we had been searching for Bigfoot recently. We were amazed at the beauty of the thick green moss covered trees along both sides of the Rogue River, along with the tall cascading waterfalls that feed into the river. Expedition to areas like this, the Rogue Valley, are a pleasant surprise and we feel lucky to be able to search for Bigfoot in places like this. Let's look around a little bit and we'll tell you about James's report. James writes to us, I want to give you my report from the Rogue Valley area or the Rogue River area where I was fishing a few years back. I kept it to myself, but it was an interesting experience, so if you're interested, message me and we'll chat. I respond to James, sure, I would love to hear about your sighting. I'm always up to hear a good sighting report, especially when I know it's a Bigfoot sighting hotspot such as this area. I just love the long history of Bigfoot sightings. I think places like this increase your odds of getting to see something very rare. So James W. writes back. This incident happened at the mouth of the Rogue River in southern Oregon. I was fishing for salmon and bass and had caught two salmon at the time and had watched this Bigfoot come across the path. He had red hair, had a face that would look like an orangutan, and he turned and looked at me. Not violently or anything, he just was like a dead pan look. And I had taken one of my salmon out and laid it on some newspaper. I walked back, put my gear down, and went down on my knees. He looked at me, he looked at the fish, and walked over and picked it up and grunted a little bit and left the way he was going. The following weekend I came back to the same place I was fishing the previous week and in the same spot where I had left the salmon that the Bigfoot had took there was fruits, berries and nuts that had been left there and I noticed that it had been in the area because there was a definite smell this was in the middle of the summer. We respond to James's report. Amazing, thanks for informing us of your sighting. Were you able to estimate the height or weight? How close were you from it when you first spotted it? How close did it come to you when it took your salmon gift? James responds, it was in the nine foot range with red hair and its footprint was 17 inches long and 5 inches wide. We were actually in the same area at nearly the same time as he had his sighting report. We usually make it to the Oregon area once or twice a year to search for Bigfoot and uh, the timeline that he had given us, we had uh, missed his sighting time by a couple of weeks so possibly a Bigfoot was in the area at the same time we were, I don't know, possibly there are several Bigfoot that live in this area year-round. Why not? It looks like it has all the resources that an animal, a bear, or a creature would need. Now, I forgot to ask James about the fear factor. Don't know what was going through his mind. I apologize. I should have cleared that up for him. But my grandfather had a similar situation uh, long before the term Bigfoot was coined in the 1930s. He was fishing on a lake at Mount St. Helens, 
and three Bigfoot come walking up to him. And he was kind of trapped unless he wanted to jump into the lake and swim away. Uh, they, his only retreat, they were standing in the way, watching him curiously as he was fishing. And he did not know what they were, never heard of such a thing, and he was scared. And uh, he pulled in his panic and controlled his panic and thought, you know, hey, maybe they're here for my fish because he had caught several. So he just kept doing what he was doing, you know, casting the line and everything, and he reached back and grabbed one of the fish and tossed it back to him. And the smallest of the three, which was about his height, about six foot tall, the smallest one come up and grabbed the fish and took it back to the others. So that, there was a little bit of relief there for my grandfather saying, okay, you know, hopefully they're not here for me. They, they got the fish. So he kept tossing fish back to him and kept nervously fishing. After they had retrieved a third fish, they left the area. And that's when he hightailed it back to camp. It was him and four buddies that had hiked in to this annual camping trip that, that they always do. And, uh, the guy, three guys went off to get berries. My grandfather and another guy were fishing. And the three guys that were collecting berries saw the same thing as my grandfather. I suspect they saw the same three Bigfoot, because come on, you know, it was their two sets of three Bigfoot in the area. I doubt it. So I'm sure they saw the same thing. Yeah, they were all freaked out. And uh, they'd only stayed one night there. And it was, you know, they had planned to be there a week. And they packed up and hightailed it out of there. And the other guy that was fishing he did not see it but because of everybody else freaking out he wanted to leave too that's the last time that they went on that annual backpacking trip to that area they found another area to go to none of them wanted to go back and then um when the patterson footage came out that's when my grandfather was like hey that's what i saw so um, he was happy the film come out to kind of vindicate, you know, what he had saw, what his other three friends had saw, and there was a name he could attach to it, Bigfoot. So, very interesting sighting report. I love the area. We'll continue to come to this part of Oregon, other parts of Oregon where Bigfoot are spotted. I hope you guys enjoyed this guy's Bigfoot sighting report. I did. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.